for the typography style blog we can change the background color here uh, of course we can change this link uh, and the color on it um, most of it will be updated in the master css color changer that's the only way we can get it to look this good so let's start there you want to look out for the name then we're going to start with the block title font we're not going to change that uh, day font and color you can see this is white over here so i'm just going to make that a light green then we've got the month font and color uh, so we'll leave the month the same and then we've got the meta link which is this one over here on hover you can see that it changes to purple I recognize this purple color over here. We can uh, just change that to a light green as well. And then let's see what else we've got. I think that wraps it up for this one. Uh, so let's just copy that. And then we're gonna go to the page specific CSS box, paste it in there. Uh, click the update button. And then let's reload. Right, so that's updated, you can see. So we're good with that and then let's see what next so uh, first let's go and change the background color we'll make that a light gray for that we need to go into the section module settings uh, let's click that open uh, let's go with black here and then we can move it to a very light gray there uh, so let's see what that looks like yep let's do a quick preview yep that works for me and then we can save and exit then let's go to the individual blog posts you can show more here if you want um, 6 or 12 uh, make sure to pick the blog categories especially if you add a new a category you have to come back and select that category the rest you can leave the same let's go look at design see if we've got anything there I'm not going to change anything further on that let's see in advanced uh, no colors jump out on that one so we can save and then we've got this uh, title the call to action blog you can change that to news or whatever you want it to be there's this gray over here let's just change it to a light green and then we can do a final preview before we load it uh, that should be okay those uh, styles haven't yet picked up so let's go to the button let's look at design yep there's a color we want to change so i'm going to change that one to dark green there we go and then we are set for this one and let's see advanced let's see if there's any colors in there that jump out there's a white background that's for uh, the button on the hover we're just going to leave that the same at the moment if uh, you want to change it you know that you can come to blog module advanced and then update the white color over there to a different color uh, so let's click save and update and then we can do a quick final review there we go all updated uh, as you can see now this white color there because we have a lighter background that white's not working so great anymore uh, let's go and make a quick update to that so that you can see so that's the blog module settings advanced and then we go down to the white background there uh, i think i've got a bright green there so let's do that save exit update and then reload there we go okay so we're missing something that means we've missed something in the advanced css ah there it is so there's another one we need to update so you just need to comb through these carefully make sure that you catch all the colors in there let's save update and do a final view now we should be good to go almost so the text is what we are missing uh, let's go and look at design there's a green there uh, button hover text color let's go with that there we go so it will be a little bit of trial and error until you get it right there we go so save and exit update do a final review yes 
there we got it so that's how you update this module thanks for watching